Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking reading for uh, Tuesday, <laughs> the 16th of June. Um, firstly, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hop on board. We'd love to have you as part of our community. Sorry, I'm just laughing because of the whole, you know, trying to get used to the dates and times and things and it seems so irrelevant at the moment. Um, if you're interested in taking my classes, having a personal reading or donating to help grow the channel, all of the instructions are below. Please find all the information below. Um, of course, this is always a general read, the daily read, the what's cracking just sort of comes in, takes it on the first energies of whatever spirit will allow us to know for the day. Sometimes we get romance, sometimes we get career, sometimes we get self-improvement. I always go with the flow on these readings. Um, I'm going to use the uh, Connolly Tarot for your reading, which I'm totally in love with. <laughs> I don't want to move on from these ones. And it's funny how sometimes you get really attached to the, to the decks, but it happens. Um, I've been in love too many times with these decks and then all of a sudden the star pops out. So and then I move on. I think I need to give some of the other decks a fair go. Otherwise, they're all in the cupboard crying. There's some sort of decision you've got to make here. Some decision about your future, your destiny. Something that perhaps is proving somewhat difficult to, to decide upon. Um, sometimes when we get the Two of Swords, it means that something has to be cut out or we have to move on from something. But we're definitely making a decision here that's right for us. And we know it's part of our destiny. So moving into that energy. All right. Thank you. Okay. So the judgment card comes out first. Now, the judgment card is a card that talks of rebirth, uh, doing something again, uh, rebirthing, you know, something that perhaps didn't work out the first time around. It's a very sort of a feeling or ways of, it is about rebirthing the phoenix or rebirthing yourself. But it's also sort of the feeling of the time is right to do something now that perhaps wasn't done in the past. Um, and there seems to be with that two of swords and the star card hopping out the beginning, there seems to be some decision to make about perhaps giving something another chance or giving something an opportunity um, and sometimes the opportunity can be born of us. So we could have had some sort of change in the way we think. We could have gone through some sort of rebirth process, uh, some sort of epiphany, awakening. But we're looking at something in a very different way now. There's the star again. So the star is definitely here to say there is something on your pathway that is meant for you. There is something here that you have to make some sort of decision about because it is part of your future. There's some sort of rebirthing process here happening um, where you need to start thinking about something that you've tried before but perhaps didn't really work out the way you wanted it to. Okay, we have the moon card. I might say so this is all major arcanas here, by the way. So the moon card is coming out. Now, the moon card is a card of things being hidden from view it's like there are things sort of bubbling under the surface here that perhaps you're not privy to yet but you're about to be you're about to see these something is coming to light here some sort of energy here is coming to you to show you something give you a little bit of an idea of where you should be going um and maybe you've overlooked something or you need to do something again or go back but you're getting some sort of information from the universe here okay so the Seven of Cups talks about illusion, delusion, confusion. I always call it that. Um, there is some sort of illusion here that you need to let go of in order to move forward. And this is what stopped you before. Now, the thing is with illusion, we can sometimes wear a mask and sometimes keep something hidden that needs to be shown. I feel here the universe is about to show you something through the moon and the Seven of Cups that's going to help you see your future more clearly is going to help you understand why you need to go back and try something again or try something, uh, uh, rebirth something that perhaps didn't go well in the past. 
there is a good reason for this. There's some sort of guidance coming in here. Now, the Four of Pentacles here, and the Four of Pentacles is a card of hanging on. Um, and I feel like whoever I'm speaking to here, it's like you've been hanging on to some sort of illusion or some sort of um, belief, um, some sort of reasoning here that you are trying to make sense of your world through. Sometimes this can be tradition, core beliefs, um, beliefs about ourselves, but the universe is saying here that this doesn't serve you anymore. You need to let go of it. This can also be about your money too. So you may have uh, beliefs around not having enough, poverty consciousness. Um, but whatever these beliefs are, they're holding you in place and it's an illusion. It's not real. It's what you've been told, what you've learned, what you've taken along the way that does not belong to you. Knight of Pentacles coming through. So the Knight of Pentacles, I'm really drawn to his horse this morning. Look how beautiful that horse is. What is it about the horse? It's almost human. The horse spirit is a, a spirit of just going with the flow, not holding back, throwing caution to the wind, just going for it. So there's an energy there. Um, Unfortunately, the Knight of Pentacles is on his back and the Knight of Pentacles goes very slow, very orderly and very practically. And I'm feeling here that the universe is saying you need to let go of this over-cautious, over-protective, over-guarded energy and take on the energy of taking a leap, uh, rushing in, doing what you need to do this energy is no longer serving you here. It's something you need to let go of. Somebody's fearful, scared, cautious here, taking their time, thinking through. And this is because of these beliefs and the, this sort of whatever it is is holding you back here. You need to let go of it and just take that leap, take that chance. Because I feel like you've been overcautious in the past. You may have been overly uh, conscious of what you were doing in the past due to your beliefs around fear and and perhaps you know not being um, spontaneous and there is a feeling here that you are being asked to let go of that okay <clears throat> queen of pentacles coming out pentacle energy here so it could be something to do with work or money um the queen of pentacles is representative of the earth signs capricorn taurus or virgo uh, she's very grounded, very in touch with herself, very, um, very in tune, very conscious. And I feel that she is waiting here as well. So maybe somebody wants to make an offer to someone, but something is holding them back in regards to their own fears, their own insecurities, things that have been placed within them since they were young that no longer no longer are serving you. Now, you could always be dealing with somebody like this. The Two of Swords has come out again too. Um, that happens a lot with the readings. There's some sort of decision you've got to make about some sort of offer that needs making, you may need to make to someone or someone needs to make to you. Um, and they've been thinking about this for a really long time, but their fears are holding them back. So always makes me think that perhaps they've offered something in the past and it hasn't gone so well. Um, so maybe you've had some sort of encounter with this person previously. Now, it can always be in regard to business or a job. Um, and it could have been that maybe, you know, your own fears around making money, producing money, whatever had held you back. The universe is asking you to do it again, but this time don't do it from a place of caution. Do it from a place of leap. Do what you need to do. Take it on. Um, let go of your fears. They're just an illusion. They're just something you've been taught here because a decision needs to be made now. You cannot hold back any further. Um, something here has to be brought back in alignment with the universe. Something that was done previously but did not go the way it was supposed to go. This was supposed to happen a long time ago. I know that with the Knight of Pentacles here. Something here should have happened a long time ago and it went amiss for some reason. 
Okay, Eight of Pentacles here. So we're definitely talking about business, work opportunities and money for some. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Or you may actually be being asked to take on this energy here and go from the heart. Yeah, there's your leap of faith with the fool. So what I see here is somebody wants to work on something with you. Somebody wants to put the energy in. I feel that in the past, whoever this is and for whatever situation, somebody held back because of their fear of lack, their fear of um, whatever it was, their fear. And something was offered in the past that was not accepted because of the fear. And the universe is saying that it's going to come around again because it was meant to happen the first time. And because you didn't pay heed to it the first time, you need to come at it in a very different way this time. So you can't be overly cautious, overly sensitive, whatever it is for you. You need to come from where your heart space is here. You need to use your intuition. This is not a time to be logical and strategic. This is a time to take this leap of faith. Something, something's given you the opportunity to try again here. Okay, so we have the hanged man coming through. Or with the three of cups. Ouch. Okay, and the emperor. Someone has, somebody stepping into their power. Somebody is stepping into their power here. They're allowing this past energy to go. This past energy, this mask, this illusion has to go now. I almost feel that the tower should be here. So I don't know why it's not, but there's a real tower energy here. Someone has had some sort of awakening. Spirit's brought something in. Somebody's been given a message here around enlightenment, changing something. And somebody's realizing here that perhaps the way they approached this the first time around was not the right approach because they let things get in their way. They're all fears beliefs, um, energies that they will, that they have carried with them. And the universe is saying, whatever that was the first time around, took a long time to get to that point, and now you're still wavering. You're still in this waiting, hanging on to these beliefs. Somebody here is getting a very, very strong message from the universe because they're taking on the power of the emperor. Now, male or female, you can be this energy. The Emperor is the card of all-knowing. This is a person that has lots of experience, great intelligence, and understands how the world works. Here's a person of power, and someone is taking on this energy. They are moving away from something that no longer serves them here. I think this is what the Three of Cups is representing here an energy of not embarking on something because of some sort of interruption. But I feel very strongly, especially with this deck, this third cup is coming from the universe. It's not coming from another person or another situation. The universe is offering this here, this new cup. Something you love, something you want to do, some opportunity that you missed out on the first time because of fear, For some unknown reason, shame or guilt is coming up here as well. So something perhaps you didn't feel worthy of. Something that you knew in your gut. You knew in your intuition, but you ignored the call. You ignored the call here. That's what that's all about. You can't ignore the call from the universe. It'll just come round again. As I always say, the spirit that spirit only pokes you so many times with a stick and then you get the stick thrown at you. As I said earlier, I feel like there should be a tower here. So we have the star. So we know that whatever this is that's coming towards you is part of your destiny. It's something that you have to do this time around. You can't carry on holding on to this energy here, this energy of illusion. You need to walk away here. There needs to be some sort of change. You need to move away from this energy that's holding you back. This belief in yourself, perhaps. This belief in the way the world works. 
because something here has to be exposed. There has to be something exposed. It may mean that you need to disclose something, open up emotionally. Look, there's the end of the cycle as well. So we are talking about closing out a cycle and moving into a new time. But in order to do that, you've got to go back and do something again that wasn't done the first time around. You may have been very stuck during the first time around and this opportunity again. You may have been very, very stuck in this energy here, this stalemate energy. Because this energy around the Two of Swords is one where you know the answer. You know what you need to do, but you avoid it. And then it will eat away at you. It will keep you stuck in this energy until something is done because you'll keep questioning something has to fall away here in order for you to move forwards i have she is the moon here so i'm going to read that to you i haven't seen this card before it is very very beautiful look at that okay she is the moon 21 I know a lot of people don't listen to the Oracle card, which I think is an awful shame because the Oracle card often gives us the finishing touches to the reading. This is Spirit's way of making sure that whatever was in the reading, you are clear about. I won't read the horror, whole, the horror, I won't read the whole message here, but I will read the Oracle part. And it says, your message comes through this Oracle. Your manifestation is unfolding in perfect timing. If you feel something isn't happening fast enough or is happening quickly and you're unsure if you are really ready, be assured all is well. If something is not clear to you and you would like it to be more so, the clarity you seek will come to you. Do not worry. Do not try to force the insight. Just be, is my, my statement, with what is happening now and trust. You are moving and growing and all is well. Soon you will see that for yourself, just as the moon grows full and revealing, even in the midst of deepest nights. So it's coming. Whatever this is that you need to let go of and take a plunge at is coming, whether you want it or not. <laughs> the universe is, it's part of your destiny. Have a wonderful day.